what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to africa celebrities it is time to go for a three-month vacation in dubai to chill off and heal ourselves in the warm weather <laughs> what do i mean yes paul pogba has got himself a very beautiful injury yes and this happened at juventus after he left manchester united just two weeks ago so we all know Pogba signed for United over six years ago. He contract, his contract ran out and he re-signed for Juventus. But this time round, it's not going to work. Karma is working really hard behind Pogba. So to Manchester United fans, this must be reacted with mixed feelings because Pogba got himself this well-deserving <laughs> injury, which is unnecessary <laughs> because of one thing. That is, he was so eager to prove his former club wrong instead of focusing on his uh, Juventus second career. And no one should be surprised that Pogba got himself this injury. It is not that we hate him. No. Pogba is a Manchester United <laughs> legend. <laughs> yes, legend in the course. Because <laughs> this was a player who managed to produce <laughs> a, a documentary called The Pogmentary, <laughs> ranting about Manchester United, how they refused to offer him, offer him a new contract. Meanwhile, he rejected a massive offer of £300,000 per week. And he went and signed for Juventus, taking an annual salary of just £8 million. Meanwhile, back at uh, uh, Manchester United, he was supposed to earn in excess of £14 million annually. He turned that contract down and then he managed to shoot an unnecessary, stupid documentary, uh, speaking uh, unnecessary things about the club and insulting the fans. So... He has got what he's want, he wants, <laughs> and we spoke about all the best <laughs> in the hospital. <laughs> no one he spoke about, honestly speaking, but this guy, he's not a real footballer. Pogba is a hospital patient, <laughs> a, a certified hospital patient who is, whose career is ruined by football. So football is kind of uh, it has a side hustle <laughs> for Pogba, <laughs> because do you know how he sustained this injury? Just during a preseason training. He was just pulling up some skills. And Juventus actually thought they, they had put a master stroke when they managed to get him for free. Not knowing that this time around, Manchester United, say, oh, boy, that's my little son. Not knowing that Manchester United, <laughs> they knew what they were doing when they refused to offer Pogba a new deal. And Eric Ten Hag couldn't have been happier to see the back of the French man. <laughs> so, yeah, Pogba got himself injured. And it's, it has something to do with his knee, the meniscus in his knee. It has, got, it has torn. And according to doctor's pre prescription, uh, the medical scans have shown that he needs to go for a surgery. So if it is going to be an invasive procedure, Papa is going to spend about three months or so on the sidelines, meaning that his Juventus career is going to be delayed. It's an unfortunate news, guys. We are not jubilating, but we are just reacting to what I might have caused this because Pogba, your Juventus career is yet to take off and already you are down with an injury when the World Cup is just three to four months away is he about, is he, is he about to miss the World Cup? the answer is yes, very possible because if the doctors have prescribed this surgery, surgical procedure he's gonna spend a long time because surgery takes time to heal and <laughs> it could be one month, two months or so but if it is going to be a well, a well prescribed <laughs> treatment. Pogba should be going inside on the sidelines for a really long time. <laughs> Say, come boy, it's sad. It's sad. We are not supposed to be reacting this way to Pogba, but this this is a player. Statistics show that these kind of injuries only happen to egoistic, overhyped players who are so eager to prove their former clubs wrong instead of focusing on their current club and trying to help the team. Pogba was just all over the place in the training session for preseason. He was pulling a back pass, skipped past a defender, <laughs> and he put a back pass trick. And Juventus quickly cheated, showing that yes, the real Pogba is back. Yes, you've got him, man. And he, <laughs> it's not so fast. It's not so fast. So Juventus, you've got your Pogba. Manchester United have given you. A free transfer, a world class central <laughs> central midfielder. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Signing Pogba from Manchester United. So guys, this is the breaking news. I just want to share this to you. How are you feeling as a Manchester United fan, as a football supporter? Yeah, 
We wish Pogba all the best <laughs> as he tries to navigate <laughs> his healing process. But it's, it's all I'm gonna end up in where? Dubai. He's gonna chill in Las Vegas or in the Dubai Sunshine because at Manchester United, injuries were his normal, <laughs> do his normal life. Yeah, injuries were part of Pogba's life. In the course of three years, Pogba sustained over nine injuries, different parts of the body. Let's be honest. So this is kind of. <laughs> A usual lifestyle for Pogba, I must say at this point in time, his career is fast dwindling and he needs to rise up and stop the celebrity type of life he's trying to live. The expensive haircuts <laughs> and other unnecessary things must just be thrown away. Focus on your football career as a player and you go far. Don't be eager to prove the fans wrong. Respect every club. Respect your fans and you'll be okay. Thanks for watching. See you guys in another video. Second boy! Pogba is injured. Are you happy? <laughs> okay, okay. So goodbye.